So, hello and welcome. My name is Steve Nabell, and today I'm speaking with Olivia Shure on Medicine Song Healing. Olivia is a Reiki shamanic and intuitive healer from New York City, and she's a certified Reiki practitioner in the Yusui system of natural healing, as taught by Dr. Mikhail Yusui originally. And Olivia is a trained modern dancer who's been practicing for about 13 years the five rhythms technique, as taught by Gabriella Roth. Uh, Olivia does offer uh, medicine dancing through film where she offers healing dance transmission as relayed through her body and um, Olivia also does light language medicine singing which I think began for her when she started training with a shaman in Peru and this is a healing transmission uh, with her voice. Olivia's website is reikiwitholivia.com and I'll put a link out with this podcast. Hello Olivia. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm good. I'm really excited to be speaking with you. You know, it's uh, our friends across the pond and all that. You know. Yes, yes. I'm so excited. I've always dreamed of going across the pond, so I feel like I'm kind of there with you right now. You're having tea. <laughs> well, you, you have to come and have tea with us one day. Yeah? Yes, I would love it. That sounds amazing. Yeah, London is very good for tea. We do lots of good tea. I love tea. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me ask you a bit about your journey. How did you come into um, healing and dance and transmission work? Yes. Well, I started dancing when I was about 10 years old, and I started with ballet and modern dance, and I loved the expression of being able to express myself through dance because I had really difficult time expressing myself through my voice. Yeah. Um, and when I moved to New York City about 11 years ago, it was for the primary reason of becoming a modern dancer, professional dancer, performer. And um, soon after, I just found myself um, assisting a healer in New York City, and that was uh, because I needed a job desperately. Mm. Um, and, uh, and I was just, you know, guided to work with this healer. And um, my main work was welcoming clients and hugging them and making them feel comfortable and that sort of thing. And I really felt like this is what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to be doing this. Hugging people. Um, Hugging people <laughs> and just loving people oh. and, um, you know, and I think in a place like New York City, it's it's not so common, you know, to just openly just express love to each other. Yeah. And um, so I really felt like, wow, you, you know, New York is the place that really needs um, so much light and so much love. I mean, as well as everywhere. Yeah. Um, but I just felt like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. And um, I continued my dance training. Um and as you mentioned, I'm also very um, involved in the Five Rhythms dance practice, which is more of a movement meditation uh, practice. And um, and so, um, but I, uh, while I was working with this healer, um, this woman came into the office. She was one of the clients, and she was a Reiki master. And we became close, and she said, you know, I really think you'd benefit from Reiki. I just, I really think you would. Mm. And I was like, I don't know. I can't really fit another thing onto my spiritual plate right now. <laughs> And so I kind of put it off for a year or so, and um, but eventually I tried it, and it was amazing, and I just felt the relaxation in my body was revolutionary. I never felt that relaxed before in my life, mm. and um, and I you know started to take some classes. I learned how to do Reiki, and I started to do it all myself. And I, I immediately said, "This is it. This is it." Because I'm using my hands. I'm relaxing. I'm going to be able to help other people relax. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. So. Um, not long after that, I uh, started my own Reiki healing practice, and um, and as I started to work on clients more and more, I, you know, different uh, portals started to open up for me, and I started to realize, oh, this is not Reiki. Um, like for example, my hands would just start dancing like over people, you know, like just mm. started making these really interesting movements, and you know, I just um, really trusted everything that happened in the healing space, and really went with it. And a lot of my dance training, you know, is just, just trust it, trust the body, trust, you know, trust the spirit. And um, and so I started to get information about clients and, oh, this is not, Reiki. you know, I just, it really became so clear to me, this is not Reiki. This is something much, much deeper. Yeah. And, um, and another thing that started to come through was the singing. And it started out as a humming or a toning. And then it, and then, you know, I just kept going with it, kept going with it. Then it turned into sort of a melody and then it turned into singing and then I was, um, I just was singing to people. They come into my office, and my hands would do this, you know, beautiful sort of healing thing over them, as well as give Reiki. Mm. 
mm. and I would sing to them, and people were just, oh, they just melted onto, you know, onto the table, but in such a way where they left and they just felt so free and light. And, and I thought, there's really something here. And, you know, and I, I understood it wasn't me. I was just the open channel for it. So I was guided to do ceremonies where I, would, where I could share the singing with, with many people at once. And so I started to organize these ceremonies in New York City and, um, and basically, you know, I just had people come and lie down and, you know, just get cozy and blankets and pillows. And I would sing to each person individually and to the, and to the group. And I would offer the hands-on um, healing as well. And, um, and after, you know, I would do this once or twice a month. And after about six months, I got this guidance that you need to now go to Peru and study with um, a shaman, a female shaman there. And um, you need to learn about Icaros. Mm-hmm. which um, in the, in the uh, Shipibo uh, tradition in Peru, Icaros is basically uh, medicine singing that the Shipibo people use to transmit healing energies from the plant medicine and from, um, from you know, earth medicine. And I, um, I went in there just, you know, with this intention, okay, just show me what I need to be seeing or, you know, let me hear what I need to hear. I'm completely open and I'm, I'm just here to be guided. And the experience was extraordinary. It was simply extraordinary. And I, I received so many mm, transmissions, uh, singing, healing um, transmissions from my time there. It was just extraordinary. Mm. And I came back to New York City and I felt like, okay, that was, that was more of a shamanic initiation for sure. Mm. Um, because I came back to New York City and I, um, the singing had changed, my dancing had changed, my healing had changed. Everything was, um, I guess you could say, upgraded, mm. um, for sure. And um, and basically every um, you know every day after that <laughs> has been yeah. just a beautiful, just you know, ceremony of ascension. You know, it's just been this amazing as- ascension ceremony every single day. Wow. And so the singing has just become um, so much richer and fuller. Um, and it's it's a uh, the singing is basically transmission transmissions from. Heaven, you know, heavenly realms, um, earthly realms. Um, sometimes it sounds very indigenous and very tribal, um, very ancient. Sometimes it sounds very angelic and very light and just pure and um, soothing. Mm. Um, sometimes I even feel um, different goddesses come into my body, um, like Mother Mary or Mary Magdalene and Kuan Yin also, um, and just really guide um, guide the singing, um, guide the healing and also guide the, the movement. Um, so the, my, you know, my dancing sort of took on this, um, like a, cha- you know, started to, uh, my body just became a channel, just a, just a complete channel for, um, different entities and different goddesses to come in and, and move, move through me for, um, for everybody. Um, and so um, one of my clients um, is a filmmaker, and she decided, I'm going to film you doing your dance in different places outside in New York City. And, and this will be sort of my gift to you and, and, and perhaps your gift to the world. Mm. And, um, and so we just completed that filming, and it was, it was a tremendous experience because it, it really allowed me to see more and feel more of what is being channeled through me. What is this? What is this? So I myself am still learning about what is this? Like, what mm. is it that's coming through me? Um, I'm just completely guided. I've not been trained to do any of this. Um, wow. Just completely guided. And um, Well, you went of, to Peru and had that training there, I suppose. I did, yes. I did, I did. And yeah. that was, I think that was, um, that was definitely an enriching, um, yeah. a training of enrichment. Well, I'm, I'm on your website, and I'm just saying, you know, I'm looking at this medicine song healing ceremony, and I want to fly over and come, because it's, um, <laughs> it looks the most gorgeous space with all these kind of candles and people laying down, and, you know, right in the, I guess that's right in the heart of New York City, isn't it? Yes, the, yes, the it's Element Center yeah. for Taoist Arts at 28 it's Warren Street. It's a beautiful space. It's yeah. a beautiful space. Yes, 28 Warren Street. It's a, it's a, it's a Qigong studio, oh. and um, it is absolutely gorgeous, and I... And I'm all about beauty, you know, I'm an artist, I'm a dancer, like I'm always, I just need things to be beautiful. <laughs> How often are these uh, ceremonies? 
So I do them once, once or twice a month. Once, once or twice a month, depending on my schedule. Yeah. Okay. Is there any more before Christmas happening over in New York? Um, I um, there will be. Yes, there, there will, will be. There okay. Will be one, one before Christmas. So yes. definitely check out your website. Uh, anyone listening to this? And uh, so let's let me ask you uh, about these the singing. Is it, it? Do you know what the intention? Do you have an intention when you do it, or does it come while you're doing it? Do you, do you have have a sense of? Can you do you see what I mean? Can you set it yes. up beforehand, or does it just come? It just, you know, it really just comes, and I and I think it's because my soul, you know, I'm in New York City, you know, my healing work, my healing practice is my only, it's the only thing I do here, I, I heal, I dance, I meditate, so, you all? know. Uh, that, you're not doing much then. <laughs> <laughs> but um, all to say, you know, all to say, I'm just, I, I just really, um, you know, do my best to make sure I'm an open channel, you know, just to make sure I'm clean and clear and as open as possible so that wherever I go, whatever I do, whoever I'm speaking with, um, what will come through for them is their medicine. You know, what will come through that, what will come through for them is just complete, you know, unconditional love and light and love for them. Yeah. So in that way, you know, that is, you know, the sort of, um, I guess you would call it the self-care work that I do yeah. is, is the intention. That's the intentionality behind, um, what comes through. Um, mm. but, um, but when I work with clients one on one, you know, obviously we sit down together, we chat, we talk about what they would like healing for, what they're going through, how they would like to feel, and and yes, and then that definitely becomes um, part of the intention going in. Um, but the underlying intention for all of it is unconditional love, yeah. um, pure love, pure light, and uh, and then I just let I let the you know I let spirit, I let the entities, I let um, I let the voice, I let the hands, I just let them let them do. And well, I step away. I step away. <laughs> <laughs> We've set up a little intention for our listeners. I think uh, um, we come up with uh, a s s medicine song for healing, anxiety, and fear, which is so kind of um, universal, I think, in many cultures around the world in these times. So do you want to say something about yes. uh, the singing transmission that you're going to offer people? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I am. Um, I so basically, this the intention behind the singing today is, like you said, to transform fear and anxiety, and just to help um, really transmute these lower vibratory feelings into the higher vibrations of joy and love. And um, and I just I suggest you know just um, listen to the sounds, um, uh, get yourself into a relaxed position. You can either sit sit comfortably in a chair or lie down. I love lying down personally. Yeah. Um, and just start by taking a few long, slow, deep breaths. And I love to encourage clients to just really, really breathe in through the nose and, and breathe in from the very bottom of your belly. Feel the breath rise up through the torso, surrounding the heart, up to the collarbones, up to your third eye, up to your crown. And just hold the breath there for as long as you can before gently and slowly exhaling. And, and do this a few times until you feel your body in a very relaxed and supple and soft, uh, softer state of being, and um, and just allow the the sounds really to um, infuse into every cell in your body and um, and to almost feel it like a like a river. Mm -hmm. um, I love water imagery myself, but I you know I suggest you know imagine imagine the songs as a river of joy flowing mm -hmm. through you, and and this joy in itself, these songs these songs automatically will transmute any negativity, any fear, any anxiety that may be within you. Uh-huh. 
Shaman, 